Hello, welcome back to the Tree of Life Crochet Along. Uh, this is going to be part 64 and part 65 of the Crochet Along, and it's going to be rows number 28, 29, 30, and 31 of the Flowers Graph. Okay, so we're right at the top of the Flowers Graph, and we're almost done with that last row of flowers, and then the next part is going to be um, a few rows of single crochets and then in the next video we'll get to the divider okay so let me show you my instructions part 64 this is the ending of the flowers graph and uh, we're just going to end it with a single crochet it's a repeat of rows four five and six of the flowers graph okay if you want to take a screenshot and I will move the paper along so you can see it. Okay. Okay, just like that. All right, let's get started. Okay, now I don't remember in the last video if I told you to go ahead and make a chain one and then turn and put a single crochet into that first stitch but if you haven't I didn't or it came undone if I did um, go ahead and do it now okay and we are going to be on the back of the work for row number 28 it's an even row and the only thing we're going to do in this row is put a single crochet in every single crochet going across that's all we do for this row and whenever you're done if you want to count you will have a 144 single crochets in your row so just go right along with your single crochets and I will meet you at the end of this row Alrighty, I'm to the end of row 28, just single crochet across, and I had a little freak out moment because I put my work down and saw this, <laughs> and it made me think I did something wrong, um, but you just poke it back through <laughs> and it's good. So I don't know if that's happened to anyone else, but... It can poke right through. I just realized that. You just poke it right back to the front. Okay. Chain one. Turn your work. And now we're going to start row number 29. And this is where we make the top of the flower. The first thing we're going to do is make four single crochets. Okay, we already have our first one, two, three, four, and then we're going to anchor down the middle loop over the next single crochet with six double crochets. Okay, so let's anchor that in place, put it in place right over that next stitch yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, and catch that loop, and we're going to make six double crochets all together, that was one, into the same stitch, two, three, four, five and six and it's so cute six double crochets into that one stitch to anchor down the middle loop and now we are going to make nine single crochets I want you to pull this over a little bit so you can see that first single crochet is hiding right there okay that's where you're going to put your first single crochet 
we're going to make nine all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then in the next stitch, we're going to anchor down the middle loop of the next flower. Okay, so we position that next loop over that next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook. We're going to make six double crochets into that same stitch. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to keep doing this all the way down. That's really easy to remember. Um, nine single crochets and then six double crochets, okay? Remember not to miss that very first single crochet right there. So nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to anchor this middle loop down over the next stitch with six double crochets, okay? And this is our last row of flowers. Oh, I guess I didn't yarn over. Six double crochets into the same stitch, and then nine single crochets, and then six double crochets into the next stitch, anchoring down the middle loop of the next flower, and then nine double crochets. All the way down to the end, and I will meet you at the end of this row. Alrighty, I just did my last flower, and we should have nine single crochets left, and we're going to end the row with nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alrighty, and we are done with row number 29. Okay, let's chain one, turn, put a single crochet into that first single crochet. Okay, I'm going to turn my work to the back of the work. And on this row, we are going to be making um, nine single crochets, and then we're going to chain one and skip these six double crochets and hop over to the left of the six double crochets and put in nine single crochets again, chain one nine single crochets all the way across and that will be bunching up the little flower head so it'll pop out on the front. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in our nine single crochets and we already already have our first one here. Okay. Two. Three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and then we're going to chain one and skip these six double crochets and hop on over to the very first available single crochet on the other side of the six double crochets. Okay, put a single crochet in there. There we have it, so cute. And we're going to put nine single crochets between every flower and then we're going to chain one and skip the flower. Nine single crochets, chain one. Don't forget to chain your, do your chain one behind each flower. Okay, so just keep doing that all the way down. Nine single crochets, chain one, nine single crochets, chain one, and I will see you at the end of this row. Alrighty, I am at the last flower. Okay, I need to chain one and hop over to the other side, and you should have four single crochets left after the last flower. One, two, three, and four. Alrighty, so we're done with row number 30, and let's go ahead and chain one, turn, put a single crochet into that first single crochet. Okay, I'm going to turn my blanket back to the front side of the work, and for this row it's extra simple. We are just going to put a single crochet in each stitch and chain one space across, and then we'll be done with the flowers graph. Uh, but we're not done with this video. Okay, so here we have our first one in already, and we should have one, two, three single crochets left before we get to this chain one space. Okay, we're going to put a single crochet into each stitch, to each single crochet. Okay, don't forget that little one right there. It's kind of stretched out, but that's a single crochet. Okay, be sure and, and it's going to look like that on every flower. Okay, don't skip it. And if you need to count as you crochet, or when you're done, go back and count because it's pretty important to have 144 stitches. Okay, so when we get to the chain one space, we're just going to insert our hook and make a single crochet into that space and then continue on the single crochet after this is really easy to see it's not stretched out okay just a single crochet into every stitch and every chain one space behind each flower okay One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single crochets between each flower, and then the, in the chain one space, one single crochet, and then nine single crochets, and then in the chain one space, one single crochet all the way down, nine single crochets in each single crochet, and then in the chain one space, one single crochet. Okay, and I will see you at the end of this row. Alrighty, here I am at the end of the row. I already put in all my single crochets, and the next part we're going to do is we're going to make four rows of single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so rows 32, 33, 34, and 35 are all going to be single crochets only. Okay, and when we get to that last row, row number four, then we're not going to turn. We're going to chain one, but we're not going to turn, and we'll end up on 
this side four rows higher and that's when we start our divider okay but I'm going to do these rows with you um, we need to make sure we put in four and we need to make sure we end up on this side of the work okay so let's chain one turn go ahead and put a single crochet into that first stitch okay I'm going to turn my work to the back of the afghan and I'm going to put a single crochet into each stitch all the way across and I will see you at the end of this row just one single crochet in each single crochet all the way across I'm not even going to count I'm just going to be really careful that I don't skip one um, you can certainly count if you want to it is important that you have 144 single crochets in this row in each row um, okay and I will see you at the end of this row just single crochet all the way down Alrighty, I am to the end of the single crochet rows, uh, the first single crochet row. Um, and what I'm doing here is whenever I start a row, I'm just going to make a little mark. And now that I'm done with the row, I'm going to do this. Okay, so it's a check. That's what I'm doing. You, you can do it whatever way you want. And we need to make four rows all together. So the next row will be row number 33, and it will also be all single crochets. Okay, chain one, turn, put a single crochet into that first stitch. Okay, so we know where we are at all times. Okay, turn your work back to the front of the work. And now we're going to put single crochets in every single crochet in this row. So single crochet all the way down to the end of this row. And then after this, we'll have two more rows of single crochet to do. And I'm going to do those with you if you'd like. Okay. And I will see you at the end of this row. Alrighty, we are to the end of our second row of single crochets in this part. Okay, so that's two completed and we have two more to go, one on the back side and then one once again on the front side. Okay, so let's go ahead and chain one. Okay, turn, put a single into that first single crochet. Okay, I'm going to turn my afghan to the back. And then I'm going to make a single crochet into every stitch all the way down. And I already have my first one. Okay, so just one single crochet into every single crochet all the way down. And we're almost done with this part and I will see you at the end of this row just one single crochet in every single crochet alrighty I've made all my single crochets to the very end of the row and this is the last row that we'll be doing on the back of the work until after we complete the next part which is the second divider Okay, um, but we still have one more row to make of single crochets on the front of the row, on the front of the afghan rather. So chain one and turn and let's put a single crochet into that first single crochet. Okay, now I'm going to turn my afghan to the front of the work. Okay, and see how it's going to give us just a little bit of space between the flowers and the uh, divider and if you look below your flowers you have that space here too underneath the flowers between the flowers and the divider okay 
So we want it to look pretty even. We have one more row of single crochets left to do. And when we get to the end of this row, um, we are going to still chain one, but we will not be turning our work. Okay, and we just completed the third row of single crochet. We need one more, so I'm fixing to start it. Okay, I already have my first one. And by the end of this row, you should have 144 single crochets. Okay, just single crochet into every single crochet all the way down to the end of this row. And I will meet you at the end of this row. Alrighty, I'm almost to the very end of this single crochet row. Okay, and go ahead and chain one. And this is where we're going to stop this video. That was part 64 and 65. And I know I said it's up to row 35. Um, they're not listed like that in the pattern. It just says to put in the four single crochets after your uh, flower graph. But um, I'm just gonna keep numbering things until we reach a new graph and the, the numbers start over. But the, uh, the parts I'm going to keep, that's why we're already up to 65 <laughs> and now 66. And the next video we will have uh, the divider. And so that'll be a quick and easy video. And I will see you in the next video.